All right, so I like to let it run a little bit. There seems to be a little bit of uh, technical difficulties at the beginning of some of the videos. I have a pretty nice mic, and so I don't know. I mean, it's not like $200 nice or $2,000 nice, but it's an RA mic. So I'm not really sure what that's about, and we're trying to figure it out. Probably needs to be a faster processor, but we're not here to bitch about that. We're here to unbox a new deck of cards. All right, Secrets of Tarot. So I went to my local Barnes and & Noble, and I was just walking around perusing all the tarot cards. And... <clears throat> I wasn't particularly set on spending a large amount of money. So I was walking around the discount books looking to see um, what metaphysical books they could possibly have. And I came across this box set for $10. And I said, uh, yeah, please. Because I um, love, 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 love the back of this card. Fingers crossed that that's what the backs of the cards look like. Um, it does look like they're very Rider Waite Smithy here. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right. So let me move all the stuff I had propping it up. Okay. So I don't, I mean, I'm trying to show you, it's a pretty large box here. It's like eight by 10. So that's pretty cool. I'm um, one of those people who love cute little boxes. So it does have the little pull string, which is always fun. And it comes with book and cards featuring a comprehensive guide on how to read the tarot, which I think is really, really awesome when you're first um, learning how. I mean, Learning from other people, learning from books, obviously is going to help you get to that point where you allow your intuitive senses to kick in. See, nine nine to five. I don't think you can see that there. Nine ninety five. Pretty good. It is distributed. It looks like by Hinkler Doc. Com, but again, I got this at Barnes and Nobles, published in 2005, 2009, and 2017. Oh, from Australia. Hertherton, Victoria, Australia. Pretty cool. So I just want to give you all the licksies. All right. I don't know how easily. Oh, look at that. Comes out easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Have a bad feeling. That's not recyclable material. One time use plastic, which is going to break my heart, obviously. I wish everyone would come around to that. So, Secrets of the Tarot. The Secrets of the Tarot consists of 78 richly illustrated cards featuring the traditional major and minor arcana. The major arcana has 22 cards numbering from zero to 21, each with a symbolic mess image. These cards tell a story of journey, the journey of life, with the figures and symbols representing different characters and experiences in life. The other 56 cards known as the major arcana have also individual symbol, symbolic meanings. The minor arcana relate to our modern playing card deck and add future interpret further interpretive layers to readings. I read that all without my glasses, what you know. All right, so just brief, we'll just do a quick brief look at, uh, see. So looks like I'll be hanging out into the piece of plastic because everything will just fall through the box. Perhaps I'll attach it. This is a nice little box for something. Maybe, I don't know if it's recyclable. I'll probably just recycle it. So just a quick look through the book. So that means I guess we better adjust this again. So 
So we have the contents, yada, yada, introduction, history and origin of the tarot, which is always interesting <coughs> to read. But we're viewing the deck, so we're not going to read it now. A little information on reading the tarot. Then we have the cards. So this is going to tell you about cups. Psychic protection. Oh, nice. Love that. Before you work with the tarot cards, you need to protect yourself against the wrong information being given to you by, this is the spirit guides. I definitely already out of the gate disagree with that. Your spirit guides is nothing you need protected from. Spirit guides you do not need protection from. So that's a lord of load of horse manure. Negative entities will pose as spirit guides. That is true. And try and influence you and along with learn from you in which this can happen. So psychic protection is very important. You do this by grounding, using your aura. Um, I always recommend meditating and connecting with your higher self because in my opinion, our higher self is our main spirit guide. All right, so I'll get off my soapbox and finish this. Tarot spreads, which spread to choose? The Celtic cross, the mark, and Amanda spread. Ooh, I might have to check that one out. A little description about the major arcana. A sample reading, then information about the minor arcana. I always love reading the books that come with this. Um, I just do. So cups are hearts, um, wands are diamonds, swords are spades, and pentacles are clubs. Um, you might or you may or may not know that. The Celtic cross spread extended. Sample readings gives you, oh, cool. Love that. That is very good if you're learning how to read. Bob's Celtic Cross, because let's face it, once you start reading, you all have your own version. As you guys know, more of a freestyle layout. Don't usually use a cross. I use more of the intuitive reading. Daily inspiration spread, sample reading, conclusion, glossary, and about the author. And her name is Amanda Hall. All right. So that looks exciting. I will review it later on my own time. Just wanted to give you that. All right. That is, these are always a booger to open the first time around. We never want to rip our box now, do we? So please provide me with a little bit of patience. Please have this on the back. I'm so excited right now. Oh my gosh. How lovely is that back? I love it. And then like the sun is washing out. I feel like coming the sun is coming in through the window. Come on, camera. I don't know why this camera does this. It's crazy. All right. I wish I had a piece of paper right now to get this to come in darker, but I love, love, love it. Beautiful, beautiful. So cardstock, flimsy. One at a time, they could get bent really easily. But... When you shuffle them, it may be different. But before I shuffle, I know you guys will all want to see the pictures. So I do like it. It has um, kind of a vintage crackling that you would see more on antique pottery on it. Try not to show you my fingers. I potted a plant today and the soil dried my hands all out. And I'm being vain. But what are you going to do? I do like how it has the playing card number, a little 
you know, with the ace and the two, that's pretty cute. So two of cups, peace of mind, joining of two people, ace of cups, security, helping hand. So that's really awesome. These are really, I feel like would be great cards for getting to, to know the deck, getting to know the meanings. Um, I really, really, really like that. So three of cups, celebration and bright happenings. Now these obviously aren't all the meanings. Um, depend, I mean, there's so many books. I have so many books. So you could totally learn all the Zodiac information that goes with cards that aren't. And that the Zodiac information so far doesn't seem to be reflected here. So I do feel as though that um, with this information on the card, it is, it's, it's a good stepping stone here. All that glitters is gold. Look beyond the clouds, money improvements. Never heard money improvements for a seven of cups, ever. Money is usually always around pentacles. But uh, seven of cups is about having too many options and being distracted. And then when it's reversed, it's about finally making a decision is, when, is what I get from this card when I'm using the traditional meaning that I studied. But if this really, if you relate to this, then you relate to it. There is not a wrong way to read the tarot card. We all read it differently. Intuitively, I might get a completely different answer from this. If I happen to be looking at the building, I might get a oh, completely like a tower card feeling. That's just not going to focus. Sorry, guys. Ten of cups. That page looks pretty funny. So it's like a person. So I feel like these are kind of a digital. Digitals. But they use the antique pottery. Um, cracking look. To give it that vintage feel. So king of cups. Man over 25. Blue eyes, fair or brown hair, gentle, emotional, and shy. That used to really work. But I feel as though narrowing it down to a fair-skinned man with blue eyes isn't fair. Because I know lots of dark-skinned guys with dark hair that are gentle and emotional. And for instance, my, both my sons have brown eyes. They're both a lot tanner than their white ass mama. <laughs> they, um, one of them has light brown blondish hair. The other has a little darker brown hair, but they both have brown eyes and, and I would say tan skin and that pretty much would describe both of them. They're both very gentle and shy, they are both water signs. So don't let the description, I'm just gonna say that one little, my two cents judgmental remark. <laughs> don't let the description. So it looks like they put in all the cups and now we have some, the major, some of the major arcana here, but not in order. Okay, so this is, of course, the Rider Waite Smith. Rider Waite Smith changed um, the strength card to the number eight, aligning it with the Leo in the eighth month. Justice, the lovers. And then we have the pentacles. And I think we all know what the Rider Waite Smith, oh, that guy's silly looking. That's funny. I love that. Um, we all kind of know what they look like. Peace of mind and contentment. I also, sometimes when I see this card, I will get the message of 
somebody who's just kind of superficial and into the money things. And, but depending on how many nines, I'm feeling as though if, if there's multiple nines in a reading, I get wish fulfillment, even though the nine of cups is more of the wish card. I will get that if there's multiple nines, even if the nine of cups isn't there. So intuitive reading is very important, um, in my opinion. But the thing is, is the cards are never wrong. So whether you read them by the book, by what they mean from the book, or if you read them intuitively, you're going to get the answer because the cards are never wrong, you guys. And there's no wrong way. Let me see. There we go. There is no wrong way to read the tarot. There really isn't. As long as you're doing it in a high vibration of love and light, then you're doing it the right way. The dog, super cute. My favorite card, the moon. So as you can see, very Rider Waite Smithy. Oh my gosh, those totally look like brooms. I'm kind of excited about that. So now let's see the real test. How do they shuffle? Okay, I always like to keep new decks in the upright position. So I do like that the deck isn't too thick. So compare this to the last deck I bought. Huge difference. This is going to be a lot easier for me to shuffle. Um, I really think this would be a great, great deck to have when you are first learning the tarot. I think that that it would be a major help, a really great investment. Will I use them? Yes, because I don't feel as though we ever stop really learning the tarot. And I love how the, I love the backs. I mean, I love these cards. Okay. You can hear how they shuffle. But they're thick. They're a little too long for me. See, so just a hair. Um, compared to something you're used to seeing a uh, show the um, Shadowscapes Tarot. They're actually just a little bit longer than Shadowscapes Tarot. The Los Cobero. No scatabato. Same length, not as wide. <clears throat> Let's compare it to a uh, Doreen Virtue Oracle. Romance Angels, I'm sure quite a bit of you have Whispers of Love. So you can compare it to that. So... I, I'm I'm liking the size. I'm liking that they're not too thick. I, I really like this deck because I I prefer the I'm new to the um when it comes to Rider Waite Smith to the no borders. I'm loving that about this borderless Rider Waite Smith deck. <coughs> Excuse me. I prefer the low scarbrero scarabio for um intuitive reading. But I'm I'm totally down with the traditional Rider Waite Smith. Love, love, love it. You guys know I use that deck a lot. I have a couple different versions of the Rider Waite Smith. This is just another version. I am big on antiques, so I think that that I I'm 
cool with the crackling the um you know like old painting or old pottery is going to have i do feel as though that if i were to get cray cray and shuffle them i would probably bend them so you do have to be careful okay so just a little shuffling trick that's always good i think just getting it on the edge a little quick sort So uh, lighter cards, yeah, you just have to be careful. Another super light deck is um, Everyday Witch Tarot. I feel like they're the exact same card stock. The exact same card stock as Everyday Witch. These I had to use the quick sort on a lot to get them to stop flying away like it was like i had to break the edges in and with the quick sort to really get get that deck to um i want you to be able to see that to not um like slide out and flip away when i was shuffling them a little bit more i think would be necessary here for me, for my preference and how I like to shuffle. Yeah, overall, I'd say I'm happy with the deck. I need totally worth the $10. I will read the book because I love, like I said, to gain the knowledge, even if it's information. I mean, there's only so much information. It's just people different are going to use different descriptive text to describe the cards. Um, but that's still always fun. I mean, hey, why not extend your vo own vocabulary, right? I like, I don't know if you can see this when I shuffle. Let me see if I can get this. So watch the ends here. Let's see how they'll match up. <laughs> I'm a goofball probably. So this, of course, is a deck that you can use in reverse because the backs are interchangeable. I do feel like, no, they're totally interchangeable. But there isn't going to be writing on the other side when you reverse it. Now, that being said, I would say that when you're learning the tarot, that you would just use the opposite meaning. So death card, this is perfect. Death of situation or endings or new beginnings. Okay, well, death card basically means the same thing both ways. I want the devil. That's what I want. So, you know, the devil card can be about addictions and um, chaining yourself in and allowing yourself to be harmed, leaving your, allowing yourself to be in a situation that isn't in the highest influence of the best for you. So here it says jealousy or trouble, able to break the chains that are binding you or holding you back. Because as we know, the chains are loose around their necks they're able to release themselves at any time um it doesn't speak about addiction here which is one of the meanings but that's okay for beginning set i think this would be really really awesome but of course i would always recommend reading more books i wish i had some of my books in here to show you sorry but when you reverse this it it is about releasing yourself from the trouble releasing yourself from the from what's holding you back so it'd be perfectly um, okay just to go with the opposite meaning. Some people read it like that. I do. 
sometimes. Just depends on what message I'm getting from my guides. Not going to lie. Because I get different messages. Sometimes I'll get a card in the reverse position. My guides are saying, nope, read it upright. Again, there is no wrong way to read the tarot. You give the message that you feel and you have your answer right there. Yep, I'm, I like them. Shuffling them a little more, letting the quick sort really soak in and move around on the deck is helpful. Um, it's not leaving fingerprints or marks on the outside. The edges aren't going to have the same glossy finish. It isn't going to hurt them. The quick sort, I've not had it hurt one deck yet. Um, when it's wet, they will get, I don't know if you can tell here, but, you know, worn. But that's what's going to happen if it's white. It's going to get dirty marks on it. Could you edge this deck, you know, with a marker? Probably would I know. Um, I don't know. Let me not. I'm not sticking to no. I'm not married to no. I might change my mind and 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 edge it, but. Maybe a, a blue color. So, all right, guys. So, Secrets of Tarot, book and cards featuring a comprehensive guide on how to read the tarot. No reason for this to be any longer than it already is. I'm just kind of rambling now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. I do do monthly readings, um, bi-monthly, actually. I read twice a month, first part of the month. I read all 12 signs plus the 24 cusps. Um, and mid-month, it's just the 12 month, just the 12 signs. So beginning of the month, there's 36 readings that include the cuspers and, um, and so forth. All right. Well, thanks for watching, kids, for private reading, psychicgenb at gmail.com. I do go live periodically throughout the month to do short Q&A sessions. Click on subscribe so you can follow the channel. Click on the bell next subs to subscribe if you would like um, to get notifications on when new videos have been uploaded. Love and light. Boys and girls, love and light. Do something nice for somebody today.